afternoon. Welcome to our Culinary Arts Kitchen. For today, we're going to be practicing how to measure. For our chocolate pastillas, we have some powdered milk, we have here Milo, we have some white sugar, and of course our condensed milk. So these are the four ingredients that we will be using for today. Of course, since we are practicing how to measure, we're going to be using our measuring cups. We have here a one half cup and a one fourth cup. So we combine these two measuring cups in order to get our measurement. So for this afternoon or for today, we're going to be measuring our powdered sugar. Now since it is powdered in nature, you have to scoop it, okay, or dip a spoon and then place it in our measuring cup. So fill it up, do not pat it down, okay, and then with the back of the knife, all you need to do is swipe it so that you get the correct measurement. We place it in our bowl, mixing bowl. This is a half cup. Now we need another one fourth cup in order to make the three fourths cup for our pastillas. So once again, we scoop some of the powdered milk and place it in our mixing bowl. The next thing that we're going to measure is our Milo. Now you may use also any other kind of chocolate drink that you prefer. I prefer Milo. So I'm going to measure a half cup of our Milo. So we can scoop it once again. And then with the back of the knife, swipe it. And then we add it to our mixing bowl. The next um, ingredient that we're going to measure is the white sugar. Now for the white sugar, we're not going to add it to our mixing bowl. We're going to place it in a plate because this is what we will use to cook our pastillas. So we're going to use the half cup measure. Now for white sugar, you can either scoop or you can actually dip your measuring cup in since the sugar is already compact. So with the back of the knife, once again, let's swipe it and place it in our plate. Now, doing these things is what we call mise en place, meaning preparing all of the ingredients before we actually use it. The next ingredient that we will be using is our liquid measure. And this is the liquid that we will be using. We're using condensed milk. Now, whenever we are measuring our uh, liquid ingredient first let's set aside all the other uh, dry ingredients and keep things organized so that your counter is not cluttered in measuring liquid make sure that when you pour the ingredient okay, you have to be at eye level so that you can actually see the actual measurement so we need a half cup of this. Okay. So it has to be at eye level. Okay. And it says half a cup. So we mix our dry ingredients first with our spatula. Make a well at the center and pour in our condensed milk. If in case your mixture is too wet, it's always good to add more of the powdered sugar or the Milo depending on what you prefer. So let's mix it up and the consistency should be like play-doh. So 
I'm mixing it up. Okay. If you if you notice, I'm also wearing some gloves on my hands, okay, to keep our mixture clean. So let's use a teaspoon or a spoon depending on how big you want your pastillas to be. So I'm using a teaspoon. So let's set aside all the other utensils that we don't need to use at this point. Okay. So with our teaspoon, okay, get a teaspoon full of the mixture. Okay, and roll it up in your hands into a log. So with the spoon, let's scoop some of the dough, place it. On our sugar and roll it into a log. So this can be quite sticky so make sure that you have uh, your mom or your dad to assist you in rolling the dough. Put some sugar on top of it so it doesn't stick to your logs. So it would depend on the size that you want to me and make it into a big pastillas or into a small one. Place them on a serving plate. One more. Let's do one more. It would be good if you serve this after placing it in the refrigerator for a few minutes so that the pastillas can harden a little bit. This is our homemade chocolate pastillas. Hope you enjoy making these pastillas at home. Good day!